Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fountain Church Olympics. We've been building up anticipation for weeks and the day is finally here. Four teams in Ashford all competing for one trophy. This is a fundraising event. All the money that we do get will be going towards our new building. But more than that, it's just a fun, um, fun time to come together, fellowship with one another, just be competitive and enjoy. All the events are set up, people in the background warming up as you can see. And yeah, man, the teams are ready. They're all hungry. So we'll see who comes up on top. Checkers is gonna be brother Benga because he's he's nasty. We're trying to pick what events we're trying to do. So obviously, of course, we need four women for that. Isaiah's is reigning champion in Connect in Connect Four, so he's gonna do Connect Four. Because we haven't had a chance to practice together, what I was saying is, when they call for events, it is very important that we all avail ourselves. However, if you are aware that you are very good at whatever event they're calling for, try and put yourself at the front. We've got Manny's on our team. He's really fast, so he'll probably be the the head. 100 meter. This is what we're going to do. Whenever an event comes up, we'll just be in advance. We don't have to go to first place on all the on all the races. I think I think on the on the girls races we're going to get first place. That's that's for sure. We got the fast girls. But for the for the guys races, at least second place because it's it's about it's about the points. We are going to enjoy, we are going to have fun, but we also want to win uh, these events. The soccer we should be able to get first place. We have some good players. For 100 meter sprint though, who's fast? For tug of war women's, we definitely have the strongest women. We have definitely have the strongest women. A few moments later. We may be few, but I tell you, we are the winners. We are the winners. That's right. Yes, that's right. It's not about the number. It's about the quality. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking it all. Yeah. All the races we're doing. Yeah, we all doing everything. <laughs> Spoon and egg. That's it. Spoon and lime. <laughs> Running, jumping. My friend, just prepare yourself. I'm we ready. are working. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what up, Fountain Crew? You know, blue team, elite blue. eagles, elite eagles gonna win this today let me tell you we're taking the trophy we're taking the trophy you ain't ready for us you know what you it is you ain't ready for you know what it you is east or west yellow is the best east or west when we're put to the test, we'll come out the best. East or West, Vala is the best. East or West, Vala is the best. When we're put to the test, we'll come out the best. When we're put to the test, we'll come out the best. Woo! 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 Word of caution. Athletes, please listen to me. Please listen to me. The ground is not very uh, level. The ground is not level. Please be very careful as you run. Please don't Isaiah yourself. On your marks. Get set. All right, we have kings and queens. Come on, everybody, put your hands together for kings and queens. In second place, is it Team Vala in second place? Elite Eagles in second place, where are we? Elite Eagles in second place? Yes, put your hands together. Come on. And Team Vala in third place, put your hands together. Yes, gold crowns, we're doing well as well. All right. There's our winners. Ladies, 100 meters. On your marks. 
Get set. Hey, come on. <laughs> wow, who had it? Who had it? Who had it, please? Bring, bring them, bring them on the on the platform. Let's gather around the platforms. In third place, put your hands together for green team. Yes, where, where are the medals? You're the, you're the one giving the medals. Let's have the medals, please. In second place, we have kings and queens. And in first place, we have Team Vala. <laughs> yes. All right. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's main event. We have in the right side, Team Valor. And on the left side, we have Kings and Queens. Now, don't let these people confuse you. This is going to be a tough battle and they're going to be doing it for their team. Everybody wants to bring home the points. But remember, it's all about fellowshipping together, having fun and fundraising. So these women will get nitty gritty, but at the end of the day, it's all love, ladies and gentlemen. Look at their fierce faces. Look at them, they're all ready to go to battle. We're about to have Pastor Peter commence the battle. Don't take your eyes off, ladies and gentlemen, because the tide can change at any moment. And we're away! Already we're Sister Celine, they've been pulled. Valor's pulling them to the right. They're pulling the strength. Kings of Greece are fighting back. You can see the tug. They're pulling. But she's losing her grip. She's losing her grip. Look at the fierce faces. Look at the fierce faces. They're fighting back. Oh my God, it's a comeback. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, and she's gone. She's lost the footing. Celine is pulling. Oh my God. Don't look away, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting fierce. Oh no, the tide is changing. The tide is changing. Okay, Valor's coming back Valor's coming back they're determined and ladies and gentlemen that does it there's your race there's your race i told you it's going to be jam-packed and it's going to be filled with action and we have their winners look at them all how does victory taste for me Chitano, how do you feel i feel you good feel? you feel good you feel good well done to you all that was a brilliant battle fidel fidel this is the captain for team Valor. tell us how do you feel right now it's not feeling good our children, our women are going to carry us. We have the strongest women. We've got the fastest kids. We got this. He's on Team Blue, but he knows he's going to lose. He knows he's going to lose. I'm not going to get into that with him. I'm not going to get into that. But that was a really fierce battle. And ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because we have another one coming next. As we're setting it up, we're going to have Eli Eagles and Gold Crowns facing up next. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Okay, so the teams are set. We have gold crowns versus elite eagles. Elite eagles in the blue, gold crowns in the green. The teams are choosing the strategies. They've lined up. The women looking fierce and ready. We have Brother Ross over there just giving some last minute advice. We have Tajira looking fierce and Donay looking war ready. We've got Vimbai, we've got Kuds. The teams are ready. The battle is set. You saw how jam-packed the first one was. Now it's time for the second one, as we line up, ladies and gentlemen. And just like that, we're away. The team's already starting to pull. Right now it's equal, but it looks like Gold Crowns are pulling. Can Team and Lee Eagles bring this back? Gold Crowns are pulling. They seem to have the tide. Oh my God, this is a quick victory. And just like that, it is over, ladies and gentlemen. It is over. Look at them as they rejoice. Brother Ross, Brother Ross, Brother Ross, just tell us right now, how do you feel about your team winning? What I feel is, man, we are just the champion in it and from birth, man. We were born champions. We will be champions. We shall be winning. Gold, gold, gold. Well, there you have it, those high passions. Everyone was counting them out, but as you just saw, they came back to win. Just like the story in the Bible of the army of Gideon, anything can happen when God is on your side. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the women's tug-of-war final. 
our final star in the yellow team valor and on the left side in the green we have gold crowns <laughs> This is the final of the women's tug of war. It's going to be tense. It's going to be fierce. And we're away. They're pulling. It's going either way right now. As you can see, they're finalists and they're all tough. But Team Valor seems to be pulling. Oh, we've had a blunder. They're falling over already. And they're just pulling over. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Team Valor bring it home. And as you can see, it was a very quick defeat. Very quick defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a jam-packed final. But Team Vala are rightfully the winners of this and they bring home the trophy. Look at them as they cheer and as they rejoice in their victory. Look at them. <laughs> Look at the chant. There they go. You can hear them. Look at them as they rejoice. A very well-earned victory. Well done to Team Valor. At the end of the day, guys, it's about fellowshipping and having fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your finalist, Team Valor. As they rejoice in their dance music. RJ, RJ. One to a RJ, one to a go blends, go blends, go 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 blends, go 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 blends, go 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 valley, go RJ, go valley. Next up, we should have the men's one. A game of chug and war, and we're gonna see who wins. Right now, it's looking. Oh, yellow! Valor could be taking it. Valor, Valor could be taking it. It looks like Valor are taking it. Valor are taking it. Valor have scored and they have won. They took it in the end. Hallelujah. Okay, so we are on the second leg and it is against Elite Eagles and Gold Crowns. Gold Crowns are the green, Elite Eagles are the blue. And let's see who the best team is. I'm excited for this one. I'm very excited for this one. You know what it is, yeah? Everyone's like looking down on us because of our stature, but just watch this space. Interesting, very interesting interpretation to what's going to happen today. Brother Enos, how are you feeling today about this event? Yeah, we got this one! He's <laughs> feeling very confident, very, very confident. I'm very excited for this one. I'm really intrigued to see who is going to win, which team will be best. Okay, okay. Pastor Pete is just uh, lining up the rope, making sure that the rope is equally distributed. And we are ready to go. This is literally men versus young adults, I'll say. I was going to say boys, but you can see that the, the proportion of weight is very clear. Let's go, and we are going. Strong from, oh, this is very strong from gold crowns. Very strong from gold crowns. Wow. And they were swiped. They were wiped off, wiped off. Absolutely brilliant. You can see that the gold crowns are celebrating. They knew that they could win it. We were born champions and we will be champions. We shall be respected as everlasting forever champions. Gold <laughs> Definitely a morale booster there. An absolute morale booster. And the blues are nowhere to be seen. They have gone back to their caves. I'm just saying with all humility, had I been on the blue team, it would have been a different story. Wow, that's confident speak from our pastor. Okay, okay. Who do you guys think is going to win? It's looking like green on this one. Let's 
go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, green, let's go. Yellow, let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Unbelievable. What do you think of that performance? Absolutely amazing. Oh, we, we eat salsa and vegetables every day while well, they eat chips. <laughs> they eat chips. He thinks we need a rematch. They think they need a rematch. Yes, we need a rematch. They need a rematch. We need to do another they rematch. rematch. They need a rematch. We need to do a rematch with you guys. <laughs> that was the strength right there. Look at the strength. Strength, no weakness over there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's me once again. Right now, we're just not doing a break time. Um, lunch is being served. All the money that we're paying for for the lunch, again, like I said, it's a fundraising event, so it will be going towards the new building. Um, the competition is tough and it's fierce, man. I've seen people out there who have never seen do special things before. We've had the obstacle course. We've had the 100 meters, men's, women, and kids. Everyone's just out there enjoying at the moment, and everyone's just enjoying the moment. But right now, everyone's just getting some much-needed rest. And yeah, man, we'll see who comes out on top, but it's going to be a tight one. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And right now we have the Gladiator event. On the left side in the yellow, we have Team Valor. And on, in the red, we have Kings and Queens. We have two Queens right now going against each other. At the moment, she's just trying to put on her helmet safety first. This is all in the name of fellowship, by the way, guys. <laughs> Today is a fundraising event. All the money we're getting is going towards our new building. As you can hear in the background, everyone's cheering on. Kings and, Gre Kings and Queens have been bringing their energy today, I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be a tight competition at the end of the day. We had the mascot in the background. Okay, the teams have done their final checks. Selena's just making sure that her helmet's on. They're facing up against each other. Look at the fierceness in their face. Oh, wow. They're ready. And... You can't push each other can't use your arms and you only use the beans that you're holding. They're the rules, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about to get off. And we are away. There they go, battling back and forth. Oh, the helmet's off. And they won. That's so quick. That wasn't a long battle, but Team Valor brings it home. They're doing best of three, so there's still some battle to go. We're about to go again, but it looks like Selena's opting for no helmet. Will this help her? Will this be a tactic? Oh, we have a move. That's a double jab, and she's off. Oh, wow. We're going to need a replay on that. Selena hit her with a double jab. That was a hook and a cross. That makes it 1-1 on the scoreboard. They're about to line up again. And they're off. Selena's using her strength. Oh, my God. She's holding off. That's good call balance. And she's off, ladies and gentlemen. That's 2-1, and that's it. That's best of three. Team Valor take it home. Next up we have Elite Egos and Gold Crowns. And we're back ladies and gentlemen. In the blue we have Elite Egos. And in what's meant to be green we have Gold Crowns. Now this is in... Okay now both the ladies have balanced. And we're about to get away. I'd like to remind you at home not to try this. These are by professional athletes. Oh, okay, yep. Quick. That's how quick it is. Just wait for them to balance up again and get back on the beams. Remember, it is best of three. So they're lining up. They're going again. Oh! That was, and that's it, that's best of tea. 
Gold crowns have won. And the final is now Gold Crown versus Team Valor. As both gladiators line up on their beams, Lorraine's already ready to strike. Someone would wonder, does she, having shoes give you an advantage? And they're off already. And Lorraine struck first! Age is not a thing in this thing. Leah's very fierce. Can we zoom in into her fierce face right there? There we go. She's concentrating. It's off already. Oh! That was quick. It's 1-1. One, one. Next one wins it all. And it's off. It's going to be tough. She's using the thing to hold on and she's off! There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Team Valor bring it home. They are the gladiator champions. As we can see them rejoicing. And we're not going to waste any time, ladies and gentlemen, as the men are coming up to face off. And we are on. We have... On the left, Team Valor, Emmanuel of Adeji, and we have Malik on the blue. I don't know what was going on there, whether there was some smooth talking or whether it got distracted, but that was very quick. Something he's trying to spur on his team to support him. I'm elite eagles myself, but right now I don't really know. There's too much talking going on. There we have it, and it's 1-1. One, one. Elite Eagles make a comeback. Yes, sir! He's hyping up the crowd. I hope this doesn't flop. There he is. He seems to be enjoying the show. Emmanuel's looking. Hold on. We have an obstruction. Okay, as they get ready. And they're on. They're back. Malek's a fight and is pushing and shoving. Oh! And at the very last second, he just gave up. Team Valor wins that round. We now, there we have it. Emmanuel's talking his talk. As they are, Uncle Joe celebrating with him. It's nice to see guys fellowshipping together, man. There's so many ways that we can do this. Sports, chilling with each other. Just all coming together in the name of the Lord. It's really beautiful to see. But, um, Fountain Church really is a family. It's a community, you know. We have people that don't attend the church that we've invited. We have people that we have invited from the church. But at the end of the day, we're here to fellowship, raise some money, and have some fun while we're doing it. But back to the main event. We now have gold crowns and kings and queens. As the men just said, this isn't looking too promising as they're helping each other to balance. So I don't know where this is. I don't know how this can only end up. If I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on this one. And this away, and this. <laughs> and we have Sylvain, Minister Sylvain, being pushed off the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> and that's how quick you can rise and you can force. as kings and queens are basking in their victory at the moment. If he wins this one, they'll be going through to the final to face Team Valor. On the whistle. And it's away. And oh, just like that. Although Silve almost fell off at the same time. That makes it 1-1 one, one on the scorecard, ladies and gentlemen. 1-1 one, one on the scorecard. Guys, if you're at home and watching this, please practice your balance because as we can see, there's a lot of people that are struggling with their balance. There we go. There we go again. There we go again. And now it's clear to see. We now have Kings and Queens versus Team Valor. And, and we're away and just like that team valor winner there's not much to say they won the women's and they won the men's oh bro no brain so the ladies and the men's bring it home for team valor for the gladiator okay ladies and gentlemen welcome back we are now with the kids egg and spoon race you're gonna have to forgive me for this one. I'm gonna have to whisper so I don't put anyone off. You know, if I shout, it could throw someone off their air game. 
and the teams are gearing up, ready to go. We have Coach Fidel just giving final tips to the kids. And we have Kayla on the right, locked in and ready to go. Look at her, she's so determined. Look at the fierceness on the face. She's not phased by anything. And Mama Rose just giving final words of wisdom. Okay, the kids are geared up. The crowd is rearing with anticipation. And they're off, ladies and gentlemen. As they go, we have one egg dropped already. But Kayla's locked in and loaded. And she's going quick. She's looking ahead. Nothing's worrying her. She's going quicker. She's going quicker. Another second egg dropped. And we're going. Tino's on the run. Oh, we have a cheating going on. What's going on? Kayla's still locked in. And she's going all the way. She, oh, she just has one final drop. But it doesn't matter. She picks it up. And she's at the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. What a battle. What a battle indeed. Let's give it up for all the kids that participated. It was really fantastic to watch. Elite Eagles won, that's right, Micah. Don't go anywhere because we have the adult sack race coming up. It's going to be one of ages. If you've never seen your pastor partake in a sack race, you're about to see our pastor somebody. <laughs> pastor Pete, I think this is your opportunity to show people what you got. You don't want to partake today? Today I, I'm under the unction to just to, to, ref, to referee. To referee. To referee. You're, you're keeping it neutral today. I'm keeping it neutral. I think there is a place for neutrality in this oh, world. You know what? You, Absolutely. You see, Sweden right. and Finland were neutral That's true. until that now they're being forced to join NATO. Yeah. I'm not being pushed to join anything. He won't be swayed. <laughs> Any appeals are going to be written and dropped into the office. <laughs> Main event, sack races men's. Expect the speed, expect falling over, and expect laughters, and expect winners and losers. And they're off, ladies and gentlemen, as they're hopping to victory. Adrian seems to have taken the lead. Uncle Bless was in the course, second, we have our first fall already. Adrian's leaping to the. Oh, and there we go, there's a second fall. And they're still going, Adrian's in the lead. As there it goes, our cameraman almost fell over, but he's still there. Bro, Clement takes second. Brother Ble Uncle Blessman is looking to take third, and there we have it. Are we going to have a fourth place finishes? And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Kings and Queens take first. Team Valor takes second, and the Elite Eagles take third. What a thrilling race. Lots of actions, falling over, winners and losers. As we set up, ready for the women's one, as Gloria just picks the people that are going to partake. Brandon. What did you think of that race? Shambles, I can't lie. Obviously, it's not fair, you know. Red's been cheating all day. Adrian's running the race. You see the men that are doing it all old, fragile, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, there we have it, you know. It's always going to get a bit political at these type of things, but we still keep the fun in it. We still keep the love in it. We still have the, still have the fun. As the women, oh, we have Mama Rose making an appearance for gold crowns. We have Selena coming in for kings and queens. This is not one to be missed, ladies and gentlemen. We're just waiting on our two finalists. You know what, let me come over and do a quick interview before we even start. Mama Rose is a special contestant. How are you feeling before your race? Well, I'm feeling great. Yes. I'm feeling great and I think I will win. You think you're going to bring it home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you have any tactics or are you just going for it? Well, I just have some special tactics. Okay. Yeah. But you're not going to share them with us, are you? No. Okay, we'll watch out for you. Okay. We're going to come over here and we have Sister Selena. Sister Selena, how are you feeling before the race? I'm feeling pumped. I'm feeling ready. I'm feeling ready to win. Kings and Queens are going to take this. Kings and Queens just took it for the men's. Do you think it's going to be the same for the women's? We're representing. I'm representing. Okay. Yeah, for all the queens in Fountain Church. Okay. Yes. And wow, ladies and gentlemen, we are honoured. It's up to you. We are honoured because we have been by for Elite Eagles. Been by. Let's just, let's, just, let's just come over here real quick. You're not ready, she's getting in a sack, you know. Okay. How are you feeling, Mumbai? We are missing one person. I'm not ready. 
<laughs> you're not giving you're not giving me confidence right now. We're repping the same team. Give me oh, some. Oh yeah, we're gonna win. Oh. <laughs> And the final interview before we start. Who are you representing? Valor. You're representing Valor. And how are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous. I heard you're an athlete. Yeah. How are you going to bring your athlete traits into this? Spirit. Spirit. I mean, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we can say. She's bringing the spirit into this. Everyone's at the line. Everyone's ready to take off. As they're starting up their engines. And they're off, and they're off, and they're off. Vimba is leaping to the front. We have Selena at the front at the moment. There hasn't been any trips or any falls. And we have Team Valor at the front. Kings and Queens second, and the Lee Eagles third. And we have Mama Rose still coming in as the whole crowd gets behind her and cheers her on. At the end of the day, guys, this is what it's about. It's that sportsmanship. It's that gamesmanship. As everybody's there running with her, cheering her on. <laughs> and we have Bishop joining her. Guys, if it's not like this, I don't want it. If it's not like this, I don't want it. As Bishop supports her to the finish line. If it's not like this, I do not want it. And there we have it. She's finished the race. Fantastic stuff. Beautiful stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That for all of you out there, you saw what Bishop did. If you're still searching, if it's not like that, we don't want it. We don't want it. Uh, two people joined together. Three-legged race is being set up right now. It's going to be a mixed one, so you can either have boys and girls or two boys. I think people are just picking their team at the moment. This one's about tactics, because what people don't realize is if you pick someone tall and someone small, it's not really going to work. So tactics is something that shouldn't be overlooked in this i feel like people might pick who's fastest but three-legged race is about being in sync i think couples are actually a good people to have and i'm not i'm not talking to myself you know what? you can come here Danae. okay so what's your favorite event so far today whether you partook or whether you watched um i think the obstacle course was the actually my course. favorite yeah yeah that was a really good one that was fun okay my favorite race today was it obviously relay because we smashed out you know blue tea like eagles let's go let's go Let's go team. I know you're not zooming in my toes. I know you are not zooming in on my toes. I know you ain't. <laughs> but yeah, you know, catch you all later, man. Blue team's taking this trophy today. Watch out. Watch us. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the three-legged race couple edition. And they are off. Team Valor seem to be winning at the front at the moment. Oh my days, is that almost a fall? I don't know what's going on anymore. Nobody's hopping. Everybody's just. I don't know what. I don't know what just happened. There's two red teams though. Hey, Hey. That was um. I feel like that was more draggy a crop all across the line than a three-legged race. I saw some picking up. I saw some hopping. I saw some skipping. I saw some. I don't know. I saw it all. It happened all so quickly. I couldn't even commentate. And here they are lining up hand in hand first place kings and queens and here are the lovely couple I mean, rib of my rib, that's what they say, right? So we have in first place, Team v Kings and Queens, second place, Team Valor, and third place, Gold Crowns. And that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. The music that you're hearing in the background is the last event of today. Unfortunately, we weren't able to record all events, but I do hope that the events that you have seen today, you've enjoyed them. It looked like fun and it's made you, you know, maybe even want to come and fellowship with us or maybe get in touch with us to see how you can join in and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this, the last event is the Kids Musical Chairs. Um, but today has been a very long day, but it's been a very fun day. Some of us have been up since seven, setting up, you know, getting this place ready. Um, but we've had people um, cook food, we've sold 
food, um, just raising money, everything like that. Um, I think it's just beautiful to see that a community can come together, fellowship with one another, do things um, within the Lord, like in the spirit, and just be together really and just do something for a good cause going towards a new building. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you do want to join us or you know you just want to know what we're about, don't be afraid to get in touch with us. You have our socials. Um, you can join our services online 10.30 on Sundays or on Facebook or on YouTube. And yeah, that's it, Ron. That's me, out.